Now, if you want to still get exposure to Josh Johnson without using him, I think that the best route for doing so is Trey McBride because we had talked last week about how McBride looked awesome in that week three game, but the snap rate wasn't there. We were wondering if that was because he's coming back from injury, and it seems like he was because in week four, he played 60 of 62 snaps. And if you look at the two games together in which he's been healthy, McBride has 29% of the team's targets with 38% of the deep targets. And Josh Johnson throws a deep a lot. He throws a deep efficiently. So Trey McBride is 20 bucks, but I'm very, very okay paying that because again, there's a lot of value in the DC team. I think there's some value on Tampa Bay as well. I can afford Trey McBride, and I would love to do so. I think he is a rock star play for the slate. What do you see with McBride at 20 bucks? Yeah, love him for a lot of the same reasons you said. Uh, in week three, even on the limited snap rate, turned six targets into 109 yards and two touchdowns. The snaps were up last week. He's You mentioned this, the, the target share is almost 30% when he's been uh, with the team, and that, again, includes a game where he was pretty limited in terms of just being on the field. So I don't know how you don't love Trey McBride uh, for this week. And there's value, like you said, with D.C., but even with Damian Washington, he's $14. So yeah. it's really easy to play yeah. McBride. There, There's the angle of kind of avoiding McBride in hopes that uh, the, the bottom falls out. But as a process play, McBride is about as good as it's going to get in the XFL for a wide receiver.